got some head last night and it was outstanding. They was hating on me then and they hating now. She was playing with me then, but she waiting now. Before Musical.ly became the world's fastest growing social network, shooting to the top of the Apple App Store in 2015 and producing stars like Danny and Devin Perkins, Baby Ariel, and of course, Jacob Sartorius. My head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine. Before there would be over 133.5 million users on the platform, but moms everywhere would freak out about incidents involving the app and online predators. What's your plan today? Nothing actually, just to hang out. With a 13 year old boy who you sent a picture of your private part. No, I did it. I did? Yes. Before Musical.ly's creators would launch Lively, expanding the creative potential of the app and giving other live streaming options like Periscope, Facebook Live and YouNow a run for their money. We are providing this live streaming experience first embedded in Musical.ly for users to interact with others in real time. Before Coca-Cola would use Musical.ly to create user generated ads with its hashtag share a Coke campaign and MTV would use Musical.ly to help cast their show My Super Sweet 16. But nothing comes close to the pure eye rolls, extreme levels of envy and slight enjoyment you felt while watching newly 16 year olds host parties. Musical.ly was created by Alex Zhu and Liu Yu Yang. The two were lifelong friends who worked in the tech world and shared a vision for a new app that would help young people learn with short educational videos. Huh. They raised a bunch of money to develop it, but it was a total flop. Most people probably would have returned the cash to their investors, packed up and gone home. But thankfully for tweens and teens everywhere, Alex and Lu Yu decided to scramble on a new idea. What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the rise in popularity of Musical.ly here for you on Before They're Famous. We've covered other apps on this channel including Google, Vine and YouTube, but who else do you guys want to hear about? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Also we've done one on Jacob, maybe you want one on Baby Ariel. I'm going to get Holly to host, I think it just it feels weird. Musical.ly first gained popularity within the teens in the US. The first prototype of Musical.ly was released in April of 2014, with the first official version of the app launched in August of that year, making Musical.ly a Leo. This game changing app never would have happened if it were not for the epic failure of its creators Alex and Luya with their previous endeavors. Prior to creating Musical.ly, the pair had been longtime friends with years of experience in the tech industry. How did you as an enterprise software guy become the, the leader of Musical.ly and you know, where did that come from? Right. Alex Zhu studied civil engineering at Zhejiang University graduating in the year 2000. How old was Jacob Sartorius back then? Well he was two years away from even being conceived. Something a lot of people wish never happened. I'm sorry, Jacob. You're crazy and I'm out of my mind. Alex got his first job in Hangzhou, China, working as a designer for an e-commerce platform called China Pages. After a little less than two years, he moved on to be a design manager at WebEx. He then worked in the San Francisco Bay Area at a company called SAP or SAP from 2004 to 2015, departing for about a year and a half to work in Shanghai as the director of a product management at an insurance software company called eBayo. He also had a short stint at Microsoft in 2015, working as principal creative director. But after just three months, Musical.ly was taking off, and he'd be working for himself. But we're not there just yet. It was while working at SAP he began laying the groundwork on a project that would be the unlikely predecessor of Musical.ly, and teamed up with Liu Yu Yang. Enterprise is a good business, but it's not sexy enough, <laughs> and I want to be a sexy. <laughs> Liu Yu Yang studied automation at Central South Automation. There he was an active student serving as the chairman of the students union. He was also already demonstrating his entrepreneurial spirit. He co-founded a now defunct website called Jobski.net and created a company called Science Nova Technology and then he graduated in 2003 and went on to work as an application consultant for a company called IPAX eSolution. Around this time baby Ariel had turned the ripe old age of 3. Wow, she's now a teenager. I wonder when she plans on dropping the baby from her name. I mean, by the time she's 20, it's going to be sounding awfully weird, right? You used to call me on my cell phone. Uh, okay. 
Let's get back to Lu Yu. While working at IPAX, he started another company, T Show eBiz Corp, but abandoned both to work for eBayos Tech in 2005. Four years later, his buddy Alex would also be working there until 2010. Lu Yu would remain at the company until 2012, when he went off to work on his own to co found yet another company, Snowbird Consulting. He then teamed up with Alex to create a company called Kikata Education. And at that time, I got an idea combine the idea of Coursera and the idea of Twitter into one product. Alex had become interested in education while working at SAP, and of the many titles he had held there, one was Education Futurist. Whatever that means. He figured that massive online courses were a great educational tool, but they had a problem. People have a short attention span and never end up finishing these things. You know, these tutorials. So he came up with what he believed to be a billion dollar idea. Short form educational videos. Lu Yu loved the idea and they decided to team up to make it a reality. And go live. Right? Hey. Together they raised a quarter million dollars from venture capitalists and built an app called Kikada. The idea was for experts in a wide range of fields who would create short 3-5 to five minute videos explaining a subject. Kind of like what we do on the Science Faction Show. Hey everyone, how's it hanging? We've got a viewer request today answering the age old question, why do men have nipples? Oh yeah, you can milk anything with nipples. Unfortunately, Kikata quickly ran into some problems. A whole bunch of them. They found that the videos took too long to create, the experts they had trouble condensing their knowledge into 3 minute snippets, and the content wasn't entertaining enough to attract teens. The holy grail. Alex later said, The day we released this application to the market we realized it was never going to take off. It was doomed to be a failure. With just 8% of their money left they began scrambling to come up with a new idea. One day Alex was riding the train and saw a group of teens. Some were listening to music while others were taking selfies or videos and then they would cover themselves with stickers. They would share those images or videos with their friends. This inspired the idea for Musical.ly, an app that allowed teenagers to make 15 second music videos and share them. Combining the appealing aspects of music, video, social networking, and in Jacob Sartorius' case, karaoke. You know, without the singing. Cause I'll give you all me. In just 30 days, the team turned the idea into an app and launched Musically in July. Users were immediately downloading the app at a rate of about 500 people per day and coming back to the app over and over again. For a new startup, to try to change the human nature, to fight against the human nature. It's better to follow the human nature. Mm -hmm. So let's do something more entertaining. It looked like a potential hit, but the app was growing too slowly to save the company. In April of 2015, they made some small but crucial tweaks to the app. Most importantly, they noticed that when users were sharing their videos on Twitter or Instagram, the Muser logo was cropped out of the image. By repositioning the logo every time someone shared a video, well, it became a grassroots ad for their app. Two months later, Musical.ly hit number one in the iTunes App Store. Since then, it has never dropped from the top 40, and today the app is creating the next generation of teen pop sensations. And Alex and Lu Yu, well, they're hoping to strike gold again with Lively. More and more people are doing comedy, uh, they start sharing animal videos, everyday life videos, all kinds of stuff. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. Let's hope they have a brighter future than Vine. Because when we did a bio on them, it was because they were dead. For real. Check out our other videos. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Boom!